Hey friends, hope you're doing well today, Tuesday. Um, this morning I found myself thinking back to the message um, that I was sharing uh, this this last Sunday. We're in a series on Psalm 23. And I, I shared one thought that I've been really thinking about a lot myself too, and that is seeing this season that we're in right now, which is very disruptive. Um, it's an inconvenient to all of us. And again, not just wanting to endure it and go through it, not fade into the scenery, but flourish and something new happening. It, it's contingent upon, at least for me, and I, I think for you too, would be accepting the invitation that God has given us right now. That this can be a time where something can be built into our lives during this time. I, I just have that sense from God that he's really wanting to do something that is strengthening in our individual lives and in our families that will make us way better off when, when we go back into the kind of living that we're more familiar with. There's a passage of scripture here I've been uh, looking at. Where is it? There it is. Jesus is talking and he says in Matthew chapter 7, Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain fell, the floods came, the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. I mean, this is such a time like that. Rains fall, winds are beating on it, things are coming at us from different directions, tensions rise, all this kind of stuff can happen. And we want to make sure that we, our faith, our family, um, our finances, everything about our lives is built on the rock. And so I'm encouraging you, just like I'm encouraging myself, take some time right now to reassess and evaluate how much of my life has not been built on the rock, Jesus. It's been built, connected on these other things. And I've seen the evidence of that because when the rains hit and the winds blew and everything else, those things began to crumble. And so that's not a that's not a condemnation or an indictment on any of us. It's just a an encouragement to say, okay, I want to take this time to make sure that I am building my life, my family, everything about my life on the words of Christ. To see this stay-at-home order is an invitation to come deeper into Him, to connect with Him, to get into His Word all these things so that it'll produce in me a stronger foundation for when we do move into the future as well. All right, just a thought. I love you guys. God bless you. Bye-bye.